views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the hosts and guests and not necessarily those of the staff and management of WWDB-TV. Hello, welcome to Let's Talk Football with Rick and Jack. He's Jack. He's Rick. I'm Rick. Welcome. I just had a comment made before the show started that I want to address quickly while it's still fresh in my mind, folks. Thanks for joining us, by the way, and continue to watch us. We enjoy it. Continue to like us. Continue to subscribe. Give us your comments. But I had a comment before the show started. I asked my friend Jack. I said, did you know Brady was going to throw that interception at the end of the game there to lose that game for Tampa the other night on Sunday night football against the L.A. Rams? Oh, it was Monday night football. Was it Monday? Yeah. Monday, Sunday, they all run together. It was a night game. Yes. I, we watched so much football, I don't remember that. What I do remember is you said, yes, Brady, you knew Brady was going to throw the interception. Please interject. Is Brady over the hill? He's not going to make it. Tampa's going downhill. No, it was just the pressure. What's going on? It was the pressure he was getting all game long. And um, I just figured that that last, that last throw, he should have held on to the ball a little bit longer to get a better throw on, on it. And boom, I knew once, once he left his hands, I knew it was going to be an interception. Pitiful interception. throw. Yeah. I, I, I mean, that was the easy, easiest interception that Ram safety is ever going to get. He had two interceptions, and they were both the same kind of throws by Brady. But I was, you know, I, I'm not surprised by the outcome. I, I think the Rams are a really good football team, and I've been saying it all along, and people look at me funny when I say, you're going to have three championships in a row in L.A., Lakers, Dodgers, and Rams. I believe it. I, I think the Rams are a good football team. The that would only, be awesome. The only team in their way, in my opinion, is New Orleans in the, in, in the NFC. So, I mean, what are you looking at? What are you seeing? Who's playing good ball? Who you like? Who... Who's six six games to play? We're into week twelve. Week seventeen is, isn't far away, and playoffs right behind it. I mean, we're getting close now. We should be able to say who's going to be what. I really, really like what um, Tennessee is doing. I think they're a dark horse. As long as they're running the ball with Henry, and that takes a lot of pressure off of Tannehill. As long as Tannehill is not does not have to win the game, they are okay. Um, the surprise for me this week, though, was um, Carolina. Yeah. I, I did not expect that uh, um, with no Bridgewater that they were still going to be I. able to win. And for some reason, too, the Colts. Colts are playing, they're playing ball. I was surprised that they won. And I was actually surprised that Rivers was not his old self and throwing that the interception at the end, you know, instead he goes down and wins the put put his team in a position to win the game. Yeah. I interesting. A, a, a couple of things about the Colts. First of all, if you think Tennessee is really, really, really good, then Indianapolis must be really, 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 really good because they beat them. Yeah. And then Indianapolis is down twenty eight to fourteen at half against Green Bay. Twenty eight to fourteen. They come back and win that game. That's pretty impressive. It was. They basically shut out Green Bay in the second half. Shut them out. No touchdowns. That's a good defense. Indianapolis is a good football team, and people continue to think, well, you know, it's a tough conference. Uh, you know, the AFC, you got, you, you got to go through Pittsburgh and Kansas City. So you look at Tennessee, you look at Indianapolis. They're good football teams, but they're capable of beating any of those teams. On, as they say on any given Sunday, they are capable. But it's fun to watch those two teams because they're capable opponents. And, and again, Pittsburgh looks unbeatable. Uh, Kansas City looks unbeatable, except the one glitch on their record against the Raiders. Uh, I mean, the AFC is fun. Uh, there's several teams that could win it. Who, do you think Pittsburgh, uh, you know, for me, Pittsburgh is the best until they're beaten. The best no, team in the NFL no, is Pittsburgh uh, until they're beaten. Yes, they, they have the record, but as far as the, their, the way that they're playing, um, and I just want to point out that last week I did say that Pittsburgh was going to win by at least two touchdowns. You did. I got and, it right here. And they did. They did win by more than two touchdowns. You so, were right on it. Yeah. That was my game of the week, which I won again. Congratulations. You're good. 
Dude, how'd you do in fantasy football, by the way? I won again. Why we're bragging about I'm, you? I'm on a four-game winning streak. Four-week winning streak. Four-week, yeah. Man, you so everybody should be taking your picks. Gave out a lot of good picks last week. A few, few hiccups. We were talking. It's interesting. We were talking yesterday at our, our production meeting that the games that are really relevant, the big games where, where you got to choose begin between two really good teams. We, we've been doing an incredible job of that, picking the right, going the right way, I'm telling you. I had Indianapolis over Green Bay. I was proud of that. I had the Rams over Tampa. So a couple of things that I did well. Um, but we... Both of us, the really relevant games that got meaning that are good teams playing each other, we do really well. These these games that I call trivial games, you know, yeah. Minnesota playing Detroit or, you know, Miami playing the Jets or, you know, some of these games. I, I mean, like this week, we're going to really see who's any good between Indianapolis and Tennessee. That's a hell of a game. But it, we'll, we'll, we'll go through the picks one by one. But... You know, I'm just curious. Give me your best AFC and best NFC team right now. Uh, way into the season. I mean, you know, this is week 12. We should know who the best is. Um, so I like, I do, I do like Kansas City. But the, and the only reason why I cannot go with New Orleans right now is the fact is it's Hill's first, was his first week at quarterback. Um, the NFL watch film so much. So I, I got to see what happens this week. But if he continues to play like he did last week, I got to go with New Orleans on the other side of it. Um, if not, um, I'll, I, despite their loss last week, Green Bay for me. Green Bay, yeah. Aaron Rodgers, good ball player. They got some good receivers. I just think Green Bay does not play good enough defense. Uh, I, I look at that defense and listen, if you're up 28 to 14 and a half, in the NFL, you should win the game. True. Do you know that since um, the Rams, the last several years, it, when they've led at halftime, they've never lost? I was looking at that statistic the last three years, and if they led at halftime, they didn't lose. Well, they led at halftime against Tampa Bay, 17-14, and they didn't lose. And I'm like, teams have to finish in the second half. Defenses have to step up. Have to play Green Bay minutes. didn't step up. In the second half, I, I don't think Green Bay's going to even get close to the Super Bowl. I think I like the Rams. I like the. I, I've been saying it all year. If you go to past shows, I like the Rams. I, I, I think the Rams are they got the the combination of what you need. They could use a little better running game. Great, great passing game. I mean, Robert Woods and and, and Cup. One had twelve catches and the other had eleven. Who does that? Yeah. 23 catches between two guys, Cooper Cup and Robert Woods. I look, you know, again, we talk about the key to beating quarterbacks. The problem is when you pressure Goff, he becomes very weak. He becomes a weak quarterback. That's any quarterback, though. That's well, why, but that's, some of them step up. That's why you have to invest so much money into your, your, um, your O-line. Does Mahomes become weak when they pressure him? He's a different quarterback. He he's moves a, and he finds somebody. He's, he's, a, he's a mobile quarterback. But if you don't, if you don't have a mobile quarterback, you need to have a good O line. He needs time and a good. You always need also, a good O line. A good O line will also give you a good running game. Oh, absolutely. And, and I mean, it, it, we know sports. Period. Football. If if you can't run the football from Pop Warner to, to pro football, you're not going to win. No. You eventually got to pass the football unless you're, I mean, run the football unless you're playing a really weak defense. If you're not getting any pressure on anybody and you can sit back there and pass all day, I mean, that was really the problem against the Rams in Tampa. They were getting no pressure on golf. No. I mean, Tampa was weak. And well, you see, how many games do you see? That's why the Colts are impressive. Because they have a, they have a good O-line. And a good D-line. The reason, the reason why, the reason why their O-line got better is because they had this great quarterback in Andrew Luck, but Andrew Luck kept on getting hit and eventually kept on getting hurt. Yeah, he stu he so, stood in that pocket. <laughs> so if eventually they had to make a, they had to invest in the O-line. It just so happened that once they invest in the O-line, he decides to retire. So that team has a great O-line for the last couple of years. Um, it's now you have a guy like Rivers in there, which is a good is a good quarterback. Still very capable. Yes. He's getting the benefit of that good O-line. Yeah, no doubt about it. And, and, and again, the, the teams that, the combination, as I say, 
great offense, great defense, and special teams are the teams that are going to win. You know, Kansas City, I don't know. Uh, I'm, not, I'm still not sold on their defense. No, uh, they, they, they it, tend to play very good in the second half, though. It needs the, to get in better. In the second half of ball it, games. it needs to get better, definitely. But it, it's a lot of fun. There's some really capable teams in the NFL right now. I mean, teams that just, they, they, they could win it all. I mean, you look at the Steelers. Uh, I mean, you, you know, you, you, you look at um, teams like Kansas City, the Rams, Buffalo. You know, don't forget about Buffalo. No, can't. Don't forget about Buffalo. Don't, for, don't, don't, don't forget about Green Bay. Tampa Bay, I don't know. I think they're on the outside looking in. And, of course, you know, we all keep criticizing the Seattle defense, but they played very well this week. As they should. And, and, you know, there's oh. another. Seattle could be in a Super Bowl. I mean, again, the NFC's got some great teams. The AFC, uh, you know, I mean, who's going to do anything over there besides Pittsburgh or Kansas City in the AFC? Like you said, possibly Indianapolis, possibly Tennessee. This game this week, again, Tennessee and Indianapolis is going to tell us a lot. If, that's a good game. If Tennessee runs the ball, that's they'll a good, win. That's if, the game of the week. If they don't, then it's it's the Colts. Yeah, and right. this one's at Colts, and, and Colts beat them at Tennessee. All right, um, let's take a break. Yep. And then uh, pay some bills, and then uh, we'll be right back. Thank you. Continue to watch. We got our picks coming ahead for you. Hi, I'm Jay Schrader, former NFL quarterback with the Redskins and Raiders, and I want to tell you about an organization that I recently got involved with, sgc-foundation.org. Um, it's an organization, we go around, we raise money for children's hospitals and kids with autism or any other uh, disabilities, things like that, all around the country. I'd love to have you a part of it, so check us out. Check out the website, sgc-foundation.org. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to make some picks. Yeah, NFL. Uh, make some money with some uh, discretionary uh, coins. Yeah, you know, put a few coins on it. Uh, make some money. We, uh, If you follow our other shows, we're doing pretty well. I, again, we had a conversation about the games that are, that are meaningful. We've done very, very well. Uh, the trivial games, which I call them. I, I don't even, you know, there's some bad teams in the NFL, but... Um, Let's get to it. Yeah. Let's so, give out some winners starting uh, Thanksgiving Day. Yeah, if you Again, don't Again, happy Thanksgiving. If you don't know already, uh, the Ravens and Steelers, they got pushed to Sunday. They just don't know what a time slot. It was actually supposed to be um, Thanksgiving night, uh, nighttime game. So uh, that's a scratch tomorrow. So we only have two games uh, back to how it used to be back yeah. in the day. <laughs> I wish they'd make it the Monday night game instead of, you know. The two birds playing each other, the, the Seahawks and the Eagles. Uh, you know, who Eagles are hapless. Yeah, Anyways, that, first one up. So we got uh, Texans and Lions at Lions, uh, minus two and a half for the Texans. I like Houston, given two and a half. I think Houston's waking up. Uh, they've waited long enough. Uh, you know, they, they looked pretty good last week. Um, Deshaun Watson looked pretty good last week for the first time this year, in my opinion. Yeah. And, and I think Houston's going to start rolling. I, 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 take, I will take Houston in that game for sure. I'll do and the I'll same. And I'll give the two and a half. I, I like what I see. and um, They're improving. I don't know what the problem was there, but I, oof, rough year. I don't know what the problem was last week, how Matt, Matt Patricia couldn't find a way to score mm. not even a point last week. Detroit is yeah, so. needs a change. I'm sorry, three years in with Matt Patricia, he's got to go. He's got to go. Detroit's doing nothing. So, but historically, uh, the Lions do win on Thanksgiving, just so you yeah, know. Yeah, well, I'll take Houston. He <laughs> said I don't care. I'm going to have my uh, Houston okay. with my turkey. Um, I'm not going to eat crow for sure. Oh, you eat turkey instead? Yeah. Dallas, or wa Washington yeah. football team at Dallas. Yeah. Two and a half Dallas is given. I'm going to take Washington football team to win two weeks in a row. Yeah, I, I like what Ron Rivera and... Um, What's his name? Alex Smith. Alex Smith is doing out I there. love Alex Smith. Comeback player of the year, like I told you. You're talking about participation trophies, but he's going to win uh, comeback player of the year. It ain't Cam. What about Big Ben? He's, he's, no. He went 9-0 already. I'm sticking with, I am sticking with my man in Washington, Alex Smith. Because he's more like them and Big Ben? And when he wins it, we'll talk about it here. Okay. So we're, 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 we're on the same page here. Yes, I, li I like that. Um, 
Eat. Now into Sunday. Let's go to Sunday. Baltimore. Let's go right to Baltimore and Pittsburgh since they supposedly play Sunday. I'm going to go Steelers on this one. Um, I'm just not sure what, what, what the Ravens are doing right now. Yeah, and they, this COVID problem and... Oh boy, if they're even going to play Sunday, so I, I'm going to go with I'm going to go with Pittsburgh to go 11 and 0. Baltimore is something silly's going on. It's there. a division I, game. I don't so know that's what, what it is, and they got all their running backs out with you know being tested positive. So I don't know if they're going to be back. They got two running backs out. They're, they're, they're down to one running back. So we'll see what happens. But I, I, I will go with Pittsburgh to go 11 and 0. Uh, so. Are you gonna Are you gonna buy groceries online this week, or are you actually gonna go around town and, and buy? Because we got uh, Raiders and Falcons. Listen, the Raiders did pretty much what I thought they were gonna do last week: lose to Kansas City. <laughs> it didn't matter first, second, last second, whatever second. When it was time to win, Kansas City won. So you're gonna go? Uh, I'm going with the Falcons. I'm gonna go Raiders this week. Okay, well there's a difference. I'm the Raiders on the road at Atlanta. There's another improving team. I think the Falcons are a team on the improve. Houston, Atlanta, I think are both improving. So I'm gonna take Atlanta and go out on a limb, and, and I'll take the three points. Okay, and then uh, Cardinals at Patriots. Mm. Cardinals minus three. Cardinals all day long. Cardinals on a bounce back. They, uh, Seattle put it to them a little bit, and uh, Murray wasn't that great. Arizona wasn't that great. Uh, uh, for a change, Seattle played good defense, and, and I was a little bit surprised. I took Arizona last week. I'm going to take them again this week. So I'm going to go different. With uh, I'm going to actually go Patriots okay. this week. Um, and, and you're going to take the three points. Yeah, it's based on the uh, – It's a good bet. It, it's a coaching and it's a, and it's a coaching bet for me where I think uh, with, the, with a rookie coach – I just think uh, Belichick's going to outcoach him. Yeah. So. Kingsbury is actually not a rookie coach. He's second year. Second. Oh. Co- out, of, you're out of Texas Tech. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. He, he coached sophomore. Texas Tech. Sophomore coach. Sophomore coach. Yeah, he's not very good. I, I was surprised he got the job, to be honest. But he's got that wide open offense. And uh, I, I just think Arizona wants to try to stay in this playoff race. New England's not in the playoff race. They, you know, with, with four and six. Uh, it's going to be tough. So I, I'm going to go with the Cardinals to try to stay in and get a playoff spot this year. So I'll take the Cardinals. What about um, Giants at Bengals? Just change the channel and don't watch it. No, I'm going to go Giants all the way. Um, of course. Because they don't have, Burrow's now, out. Who's playing quarterback? Yeah. Poor kid. I, I knew eventually he'd get hurt. You just can't last in the NFL getting knocked down every week like he was getting knocked down. And you can't throw 60 passes a game and not get hurt. And The, the ball's in the air constantly. I mean, the poor kid... I feel bad for what happened to him, and he had a bad knee injury. Hopefully, uh, hopefully he's okay next year. But uh, you knew that eventually he was going. You knew that eventually he was going to get hurt. He's throwing the ball too much. It's only, I mean, it's only a matter of time. It, protection, protection, protection. Giants, Giants, are another team on the improve. I, 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 one of those teams at the last, you know, five, six games, seven games of the year that are improving. I think the Giants are a team on the improve. Don't get me wrong, they're not that good. Do you think they'll they'll improve enough to win their division? Because their division is dismal right now. That it could be possible. A lot's going to be told on between in the uh, Washington Dallas game. Who's going to take the lead in that division? So I'm going to go with the Giants and give the six. It's, it's, yeah, I think the Giants are an improved team, and they may win it, by the way. They may win that. I like their coach, expatriate special teams coach. Uh, he's, he is a rookie coach, and I think he's doing a pretty good job. I, I think he's keeping the team interested and, and engaged. In, not to mention that he also has a great, he's a good, a good quarterback. He gets better every week. Yes. So, yeah, I'll go with you with the Giants. Browns, Jaguars. Browns, Browns and a romp. Minus, minus, seven, minus seven. Jaguars are hapless. What a poor football team. You could say the Poorly same thing coached. about the, the Browns. Should, Marone should be fired. The Browns are seven and three. Bad football team? Yes. Seven and three. They'll be eight and three after this week. And guess what? I'll take the Browns and give the seven. You too? You're going to take the Jags? No, I'm taking the Browns. Okay, then stop criticizing them. Okay. They they got a good they got a good ball they're good enough, even though their best defensive player Miles Garrett is still out with COVID. Um, this is going to be week number two. He's out. That hurts. Yeah, off of the edge there. Great defensive rusher. But uh, uh, ne- uh, next up, Panthers Vikings. Vikings, Vikings all day long. Four. Vikings all day long. Uh, At home, yeah. Yeah, 
Vikings need a win. They, they, they shouldn't have lost that game last week. No, they shouldn't have. Um, they were in a good role, and then all of a sudden they fell apart last week. I, I don't get it. Uh, again, Minnesota, Mike Zimmer, supposed to be a good coach, good defensive coach. Minnesota looked hapless last week, like they didn't show up. But I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give the minus four and take Minnesota. How about you? I, I'll take Minnesota, too. Okay. Titans, Colts. I oh, really, what a game. This oh is a game that God. I really want to watch. Um, oh, my God. That's the game to watch. A 10 a, a 10 a 10 a.m. game here in the West. So, and uh, Colts are given three points at home. Who yeah. are you going to go with? I mean, this is a like this, this is a knockdown, drag out game, man. I like the Titans if they can run the. I'm hoping that they can run the ball. As long as they run the ball, they don't need Tannehill to to try and win the game for them. This is a great game. Uh, I I've been on the Indianapolis bandwagon, and I'm going to stay on it. They've looked really good the last two weeks. Okay. You're going to take the Titans. I'm going to take the Colts. God, good luck with that. It's a game that I would not put a few coins on. No, I, I would say I will money not wise, bet stay away from that. For no. me, I will not bet it. Uh, it's too, too, too close. Uh, Chargers, Bills. I like the Bills. Chargers looked good last week against the Jaguars. <laughs> no, the Jets. <laughs> was it the Jets? Yeah. It was one of those Jays, and I'll tell you what, they're both pretty bad because the Chargers look great. And... and, and Oh my God! Well, I, the, the the Jaguars and Jets are both horrible. I said that that game was probably the only game that the Jets would win, and then the I way they, that. the way they um, they uh -huh. opened it. Yeah, I, I, like, I had the Chargers all day. I was day like, on okay, one. you guys, they, they're gonna do this, and then all of a sudden, oh, the old Jets came back, pick six. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I made all my coins last week. You just I'll rub it in, huh? All on that game. Uh, I knew the Chargers were due to have a good game against the. In that Very poor team. Still, uh, they're they're going to go. They're, they're going to go undefeated. <laughs> they're not going to win a game. Uh, undefeated in the win column. They're going to be undefeated in the win column. O O and sixteen. Uh, Bills. I'm going to go Bills with this one. Bills and Chargers. Bills back on track. Bills are still friggin' aching. They couldn't wait to get back on the field. And unfortunately, they haven't played in two weeks. After losing that game to Arizona, the Bills have been hurting for two weeks. The, the Bills, this is, this is a, a light-up game. I'm telling you, the Bills are going to have a big game. And then, of course, Dolphins, Jets, I'm going with Dolphins. There's yeah, nothing, Dolphins, is minus nothing. seven, Jets, hapless, but watch, they'll get in the game. That's actually going to be my game of the week. Um, okay, that's I've got to go, go against my New York Jets. They're just not, they're grounded right now. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm with you. I'm, I'm definitely with Miami on that, and I'll give the seven. Here, here's a pretty good game. Saints, Broncos, how do you like that one? I like Denver Saints. is another one of those improving teams. That it, it may be one of those trap games that New Orleans doesn't show up and isn't ready. Um, minus oh. six, but I'm still, I think New Orleans is, New Orleans is going to continue to roll. I, I will go with the Saints and give the six, like you. Okay. Uh, Niners, Rams. I like the Rams on this one. Rams at home. Again, that might be a trap game because the Rams had such a great game. Went across country to play Tampa Bay, and now they got to go home. Yeah. They're going to go home and play the Niners. The Niners are aching, hurting. They just want to beat somebody up. I think the Niners will play very well. I really do think the Niners will play well in this game, but I, I, I got to take the Rams. And, again, again, it's a game. I'm telling you, it's a game I wouldn't bet because – I just think the Niners are just the team that's really hurting and aching for a win, and I think they're really going to show up this week. And I don't know that the Rams are going to cover that seven, but we'll see. The Niners are hurting, poor guys, so many injuries. Uh, another tough game for uh, Tom Brady. Yeah. Chiefs at Bucks. That's a tough game for Minus both teams. Three. It's a tough game for both teams. I like the Chiefs. Minus three on the road after a big, big, big win at the Raiders. On the road again, you know, the, the, the Chiefs have to, they, they come out west to play, and, and, now, and now they got to go east to play. That's tough on teams. But uh, minus three, man, Tampa needs a win. Kansas City doesn't need a win. Wow. That's a tough one for me. I'm going to go with Tampa Bay. Okay. I'm going to take Tampa this week to get, to, to get it back together. I, I, there's something telling me that it's a trap game for, and, and by the way, my game of the week is, is actually the Saints over Denver. Um, I, I, you know, six points. 
Saints look like they want to prove something. Taysom Hill looks like he's got something to prove, and well, they want the, they want to do well while Brees is out. And well, I hope the Broncos watch some uh, watch some uh, film. The Broncos are an improved team. I give them a look, just a little bit of credit. They'll uh, play good at home. What about Chicago against Green Bay? Green Bay minus eight at home. Green Bay's hurting. Green Bay's going to have a big game. I, I I think that they'll play well at home. I, I think that Aaron Rodgers is going to have a excellent game against Chicago and. I definitely will take Green Bay. They need to win. I'll give the eight. It's a lot of points, but I'm definitely going to take Green Bay. Okay. You also? Yes, I'm going to take Green Bay. Okay. And then for uh, for our Monday Night Football, we got Seahawks against uh, the Eagles. What a dead game. I'm going to take the Seahawks and give the five and a half. Again, the Seahawks want to continue to win. That division is tough. I mean, the Rams, the Rams and Seahawks are fighting it out for the top spot. They're both seven and three. Who do you think will win that division? Well, same thing with uh, what's what's uh, Arizona's. Well, Arizona's four. They got four losses. Four. Okay. Six so and four. four. But so they're right. That's they're why right. Arizona they're needs a win this week, because they're trying to hang in there, and that's why I had mentioned that I think Arizona is is going to have a good game this week in New England, but we'll see what happens. If, if Arizona loses, they're not going to be in the playoff hunt anymore. So I mean to go to six and five. One of these teams is going to be eight and three. You know, the Rams, I don't know. We'll see. The Rams, I like the Rams, but uh, Seattle, Seattle doesn't have a tough game, so they, they may be the eight and three team. I don't know. I think both the Rams and Seattle will win, and they'll stay at top of that division. So it's, uh, it's, uh, it's getting to be a lot of fun because we got, you know, six games left. Getting near the end of the season. Man, can you believe it? Remember, we By were like, well, are we going to even have a season? And here we are. They've done a good job in the NFL overall. I mean, the, you know, the way they've run it and had to, you know, they travel from city to city. It's not a bubble situation. It's not like the NBA and, and, and soccer and, and hockey. And having to reschedule games. Yeah, rescheduling games. No games have been canceled. I, I, I give the NFL a lot of credit. And they've heightened their uh, COVID um, restrictions. So, you know, they're making them do new things at camp and so forth and travel. But... NFL, I give, them, I give them kudos for the most part. They've had some, they've had some problems, but um, they've done pretty well. They've done pretty well in these tough times to, to, to have all these games and to keep it interesting. And we're coming down the stretch, man, so it should be fun. But good luck to everybody with their picks this week. Good luck to you. Uh, put a few coins on it. Play some parlays. Do what you do. Have fun with the games. Enjoy the games tomorrow. you got a couple of good games. Unfortunately, that night game has been moved. I, everybody looks forward to that night game after a turkey dinner. But uh, enjoy the games tomorrow. Today, our show will be, will be coming out on Thanksgiving, so it's actually today. So, anyways, God bless. Enjoy. Good luck with your picks. Have a great weekend. Enjoy the holiday weekend. Be safe. Be sane. Wash your hands. Wear your masks. And uh, eat lots of turkey and have fun. God bless you for watching. Thank you. Thank you. For your astuteness and your great picks again this week. And it'll be fun to watch. God bless you and your family. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank Same to you, sir. Happy Thanksgiving Amen. to you all. Continue to watch us. Like us, please. Please like us. Enjoy the week. We'll talk to you soon. God bless.